Hello and welcome back to part three of the album set series. I'm keeping this series open-ended just on the off chance that I may get some more album sets that fill in the years of the ones that I don't have. So on the off chance that I manage to find a few quid somewhere I can buy the 2009 set or the other years that are missing, then I'll show them in a future video. But for this video, I've got the fourth and fifth circulating coin portrait collection. 2015, 17, 18 and 19. Sadly I don't have 16. That does cost a quite a bit now to get as well so sadly I'll have to wait in the future. That might be video 4. But what I'll do, I'll show you these ones in between. I'm going to open them with the most utmost care. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll speed up the footage in between me opening and resealing them and in between I'll show you what's inside. So see you on the flip side. Now, this is uh, the 4th and 5th Circulating Coin Portrait Collection. As you can see it's designed like a book so it can go on a bookshelf. And there's the back end of it. Brings both uh, portraits for the year 2015. You open them up. There's your 4th Circulating Coin Collection. Congratulations. Pretty much the same on both sides. Ah, but that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see the royal portrait. If you want to have a wee read of these, feel free. That should be enough time. There's your previous portraits and their designers. It seems like yesterday that I saw these two kicking around. And this one. I remember that one pretty well as well. Anyway, as you can see, definitive design. There's your shield, done by Matt Matthew Dent. There's the 2015 one pound, round pound, with the shield design on the front. And there's the two pound coin. There you go. No idea where that's back to front. No idea. Is that an error with the set? <laughs> Perfectly honest, it's not a set. I don't sit and open these at all very, very often. I just uh, I think I opened it when I got it. Just have a quick peek. Put it back into the thing and left it be. There's your coin specifications for all different denominations. And pop that back into the book. This one's fifth. And there's the back. Jodie Clark. There's all your specifications, etc. Oh no, it must be something to do with a pack. Yeah, yeah. These portraits through time. If we read to them. Hopefully that's long enough. Go. There's a shield design. There's your Jody Clark portrait. And look at that. 2015 Britannia. Doesn't it look beautiful? <laughs> and there's a photo of Jody Clark. Don't mind the truck going by. It comes with this wee book, Portraiture, Realism or Idealism. Let me have a quick scan of that. With my thumb so you can read what's going on. Quite a lot of uh, reading, I know, I do realise, sorry. My thumb. <laughs> and like the first book that has the different portraits of the different artists doing the portrait. Tells you a little bit about them. There we go, so I'll pack that up. 
we'll move on to the next album set. I'll see you in just a moment. Now, the, this is a 2015 set. As you can see, it includes 13 coins this year. That's the coins it includes. In the 50th anniversary of Churchill's death. Hang on the back. As you can see, it's just designed like a book. I'll show you what's inside the book. I'll let you have a quick scan of them. Feel free to pause like you'd normally do. Quite a lot in this book. There's that Millennium Dome coin that I have in that pack. Through chronology, all the different dates. And quite a lot to ingest for this year. Oh. Now this is the five pound coin that features in this one. And a fight portrait of them just there. It's the designer of the Churchill coin. Here's the designer. Magna Carta. Surprising amount of trucks for half past two in the morning. And there's the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. And a little bit to read about Gary Breeze there. There you go. And the last page, the definitive edition. Here you go. So, to the meat and potatoes. You can see IRB in the back of the definitives. Here's your definitive sets. Just like the, fir the fourth portrait pack I just showed you. So, let's open this bad boy up. There's the anniversary of Battle of Britain. So we can get a bit closer. You all know the specifications by now, surely. There's the Magna Carta. There's uh, World War One, the Navy. There's the Waterloo, 200th anniversary. I can coin that one. And uh, 50th anniversary of the death of Winston Churchill. And we'll turn it around. You can see the other side. IRB IRB on the back of the Magna Carta and the Navy and there's your IRB on the back of the Battle of Britain that's what a lot of the popular coin channels always tell you you'll find JC in the circulated ones and IRB on the album set or the, the bunk pack there we go as you can see, obverse of the definitives. Now, 
And I'll pack this up. I'll be with you in a second for 2017. There we are, 2017. A little bit on the back about this one. Shows you includes a new 12 pound uh, sided one pound coin. The thousandth anniversary of King Canute. Etc. etc. Let's go to the meat and potatoes. There's the obverse of the definitive set, including the new Britannia and the new one pound coin, 2017 edition, as you can see. There's a 2017 uh, Isaac Newton. Look at the condition that is in, beautiful. As well as uh, Jane Austen, which I think is one of the Loveliest designs around the edge there. Look at that, the texture and the shine, the texture and the shine. Amazing. I'll have a wee read of them if you fancy it. And I'll move on to the next one. And first World War Aviation. Yeah. King Canute as well. We have a wee read of them. And House of Windsor. Show you the obverse of these coins now. Let's try and be careful. Pretty much the same, JC. And there's your obverse of the definitive sets. Again, so I'm going to fold this up carefully and another book with this one. A wee bit of history there. We're talking about the gold standard, We're talking about the new one pound coin, which are the territories. We'll be getting, hopefully soon, they'll be getting their own designs, which will be good to collect. Wonder what designs, I'm quite excited to see what they've got. Must be another truck. A bit about St. Isaac Newton. And we section at the back part of the book talking about the designers. And this one's a competition where the young lad does uh, the, the design for the 12-sided £1 coin. There we are. And I'll put that into the book. And I'll speed it up while I pack it, repackage it. There we are, the 2018 coin collection. The People Act, Frankenstein, and the Royal Air Force. Show you the book this time round. Give you a quick glance.
Right, so the meat and potatoes of this pack is your obverse of the series as usual. 2018 Britannia. 2018 everything, I should say. <laughs> and let's have a look at these. There's the Prince George of Cambridge coin. Have a wee read of that. Armistice, Royal Air Force badge, <laughs> the bane of my life at the moment, <laughs> representation of the People Act, and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Be careful when I do this. Show you the obverse of each one. And fold her up carefully. And I'll pack this up and I'll see you for 2019. And here we are, 2019. First one with a pictorial design on the front cover. Also shows you the coins on the back cover as well, well the definitive ones anyway. He tells you a wee bit about what ones are in there. No booklet this year, sadly. And there's your obverse of the coins, 2019 obviously. There's all the different definitives, including Britannia. And since there's no book, I'll let you have a wee glance at these first before we move on to the coins. Birth of an Era. This is a Queen Victoria one. I do like this one, five pound note uh, coin. With all the cogwheels of different technologies that occurred during her reign. The steam locomotive, the penny farthing, etc. etc. The telephone, telegraph, sorry, telegraph. And moving on to the next coin, I'll let you have a read of that first. Those two. There's the D-Day 75th anniversary. Just make out Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno and Sword. And we'll move straight along to the Wedgwood. I quite like the... It's a bit of an odd one, the Wedgwood. Some people like it, some people love it, and it's one of the, the Marmite coin of the year, I think. I have no, I'm indifferent, to be honest. I do like the intricacies of the pottery art. I just feel that it's missing a few things around the top. It's just Wedgwood. Blah. Here we go. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. I do like the leaves around the side, though. And Samuel Peeps. His diary entries, which uh, without his diary entries, quite a lot of history would be lost to us, including things like the plague, Black Death, and uh, Great Fire of London, etc. Do like that one? I think that'll second. Uh, D Day is first, Samuel Pepys is second, and Wedgwood third. Out my two pound coins. 
And here we go, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And all his uh, Sherlock Holmes 50 pence. So very carefully turn it around, Sherlock Holmes, Samuel Pepys, Wedgwood, D-Day Landings, Queen Victoria, and we're back to the front cover again. So, I'll go and uh, pack this up nicely and I'll see you in just a second. Well anyway, that concludes today's video. Thanks for be, pay, being patient and tuning in and all that and having a wee glads with uh, the coin sets with me. I'm going to dash off now and have a wee drink of juice and go to my bed. Uh, hopefully get another coin hunt on the go by the end of the week and we'll see what it is. I'm recording actually so many videos now, I'm at least a week and a half to two weeks ahead so I don't remember exactly what video is next. Anyway, it'll definitely be a hunt after this one. Then I've got a couple of more materials to make with the... Uh, I've got a couple of boxes still in the ottoman to empty and show you. So anyway, until then... If you're having a hunt, have a happy one. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.